Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shizus Christ, aka Sher Peterson. And today we're going to be doing a first impressions review of John Frieda's Brilliant Brunette Visibly Deeper, the color defying shampoo and conditioner. What a fantastic product. So before we actually start looking at my first impressions of the product, I'd like to actually just tell you a bit more about my hair journey. So um, I've been having natural hair for quite some time now, but the problem is I used to straighten my hair and because of the straightening, I wasn't getting the curl definition that I really wanted. So I've decided to even give up on the curl hair journey because firstly, the products are way expensive and secondly, I'd like to recondition my hair to being straight and see where that takes me. Like I'm okay with having to cut it off at some point if it's not okay, but I'd much prefer to just have straight hair and I just took these out of braids, so this is what they currently look like. But I do color my hair, so as you can see it's a bit dark. I color it black usually. Um, it washes out quite quickly from my hair, which is a problem, but that happens to me with most dyes. So I'm really excited for these John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Visibly Deeper because what it is, it's a shampoo and conditioner series that kind of has a little um, semi-permanent, you know, hair dye in it, which darkens. And it says on the back, you need to wash your hands carefully afterwards. So this is an exciting product range for me because I struggle with, you know, retaining color and retaining a deep, rich color. So this one is definitely such an exciting thing for me to try out and test out and also hopefully see results because I struggle especially with color retention in my roots. Yo! So the shampoo, first of all, comes in a bottle like this. They both come in these beautiful kind of like, I want to call them toothpaste shaped bottles because that's what I'm used to seeing in shapes like these it's toothpastes but i've also used another product that came like this which it just makes it so much easier to use and especially getting all the product out of the bottle as opposed to having a really hard plastic bottle so the product itself is like i'm not going to touch it because it says you have to wash your hands and i am not keen to wash my hands right now the smell is very florally it's a floral scent. It's something that you would smell in perfume, but not as strong. So I can definitely see me enjoy the scent of the of the, the shampoo and the conditioner quite a bit. Um, the texture is quite tacky, which is quite nice. Um, it does have a bit of a like runniness to it, but it's not as it's not as viscous as most things, which I like in a shampoo. It needs to be a bit tacky. I can see it's going to foam well. And that's gonna give me life. Then the conditioner is a bit lighter, as most conditioners are there, a bit more milky. Um, the same scent, oh, I'm actually dying, it's so floral. It honestly is so floral and I'm just excited to actually try this and wash my hair. Which I'm definitely gonna do after this video. Conditioner great smooth conditioner telling me it's going to be really rich and really nourishing which i think you would need with something like a semi-permanent hair color dye that is in a shampoo and conditioner so when i've tried these i'm going to make another video and post it online so you can check out what my first thoughts in terms of the use was in a little bit hope you enjoyed this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel